everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing how to manually update your Nexus 7 to Android 4.4 KitKat. Uh, right now, you sh this method, um, the tutorial I'm doing, will work on both Nexus 7s, the 2012 and 2013 variant. You just need to make sure you download the correct file for your device, whether it's the uh, first gen or second gen Nexus 7. Right now, I'm holding the 2013 Nexus 7, but again, this method will work for both Nexus 7s. So keep that in mind if you want to update to KitKat. At the time of this video, there's no 2012 file, but I will uh, post a download link to it as soon as it becomes available. So just kind of keep that in mind. So uh, right away, you first need to go ahead and download a file. Actually, I'll link to it in the description. It's the update zip file that you need to download. As I said, make sure you download the correct one depending on what variant of the Nexus 7 you do have. Um, in regards to the 2013 variant, of course you need to be on 4.3 and the build number is JSS15R. Um, on KitKat, it's krt 16 Oh, so that's just a little update there on what it needs to be uh, called, what the build number is called. So first of all, download that file. You're also going to need to go ahead and set up the um, SDK and ADB, uh, ADB and SDK tools on your PC. So I'll post a quick tutorial in the description tutorial video on how to do so. Uh, so you need to make sure you set that up if you have not done so yet. Anyways, to get our tablet ready to uh, update, you're going to need to just power off the device. I want to make a note that this is the exact same as if you were accepting an over-the-air update. No data will be wiped, um, and it will just update your device to KitKat. Just like an over-the-air would, you're just kind of manually doing it on your Nexus 7s. All right, once our device is fully powered off, what you need to do is press and hold the power button and the volume down button, the one furthest away from the power button at the same time. Just go ahead and press and hold both of them. Uh, just keep it held down and it should take us into the bootloader as you can see. So it boots us right into the bootloader. Again, I wanna make a note that you should be able to do this whether you're stock or even have a custom recovery just because I believe Twerp and Clockwork Mod have an ADB sideload option. So. Even if you have stock recovery, obviously is going to work. And then of course, uh, a custom recovery will as well, as long as you're on the previous stock build as well. If you're running a custom ROM, no, this update isn't gonna work. I would just wait for a uh, developer to post a zip file if you're running a custom ROM. Anyways, to navigate through the bootloader, volume up and down on the side, you'll see uh, restart bootloader, recovery mode, power off and start. You wanna go ahead and let it say recovery mode and press the power button to select it. It's gonna go ahead and take us into our stock recovery. All right, so now you should see there's no command screen. It's always tricky to get past it. Uh, what you can do is press, um, I believe volume up and hold it and then press the power button and it should get you out of it. Um, it's always pretty tricky. Try pressing up and power button at the same time. Try volume down as well. As I said, it's always such a pain trying to get them out. I'm just simultaneously pressing these buttons all at the same time to Hopefully, there we go. So I pressed and held the power button longer and then just kind of tapped the volume up button and it eventually got me out of that menu. So as I said, it's always really tricky to get out of it. So just keep trying and eventually you'll get to this menu. All right, so this menu is Android system recovery. Yours might be a little bit different if you are stuck with a custom uh, recovery, but you'll see you'll need to use volume up and down to navigate and go ahead and go down to apply update from ADB and press the power button. Now it's just gonna go ahead and down at the bottom say now send the package to apply, which is what we're gonna need to do on our computer now. So what we can do now is go ahead and go to our PC. All right, once we're at our computer, you'll see, navigate to where that file was downloaded, that update zip. As I said, it might be different depending on you whether you have a 2013 or 2012 variant. Make sure you download the correct one. But go ahead and right click and hit cut. So get it out of your downloads folder. And what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and navigate to where that SDK folder was, that Android SDK folder that I uh, posted a video how to do so. And then go ahead and just go into platform tools and paste the file into your platform tools uh, folder. So just go ahead and hit paste and you'll see that file name is right there. Now, once you have pasted it into your platform tools folder, go ahead and rename and pretend to rename it and then right click and hit copy. So just copy that entire 
entire file name, a bunch of letters and numbers, and lets you know what uh, build you're going to and from. And then once that's done, hold shift on your keyboard. Um, oops, hold shift on your keyboard, right click, and hit open command window here. So there's an option for open command window. Just as I said, you have to hold shift and then click outside of the files, and it should say open command window here. And it should open up a command prompt like so. All right, once this command window is open up, what you can do now is just plug your tablet into your computer. So just go ahead and plug it on in while it's still uh, asking for that file. So down at the bottom it says now you can apply update via ADB. So what we can do now is type in some simple commands in our command prompt. So what you can do now is type in ADB space side load space and then once you have a space after that right click at the top of your command prompt, highlight edit, and hit paste. It's gonna paste in that file name that we copied earlier and make sure at the end you add dot zip like that. So make sure there's dot zip at the end added. Uh, make sure it doesn't say dot zip dot zip, just one dot zip will do. Um, and we're ready to go. So as I said, just go ahead and type in that command adb space side load space file name and then we can go ahead and press enter on our keyboard. Doing so is gonna send that entire file onto our device and then it'll manually update. So you'll see sending side load, it's gonna go through a percentage, that means it's sending the file to our tablet. Um, I'm gonna let it run through and I'll be right back. All right, so you see it says 100%. Now, I believe you can unplug your device. I don't recommend it, but you should be able to considering that's all that we needed to do on our, the PC side. So I'm gonna run, let's go ahead and go to our tablet. All right, so you'll see on our device, it is now installing the system update on our device. It'll just run through the entire install process. You'll see a little blue progress bar right here letting you know how, uh, how much longer you have, I guess. So I'm gonna let it run through, and once it is done, it should automatically reboot our device, but I'll be back once it's done installing. All right, so it says install from ADB complete. It ran through um, and it didn't automatically reboot, as I said, which is no big deal. It just brings us to this menu now. All you have to do is press the power button when it's highlighted on reboot system now. So just go ahead and press the power button and our device should reboot and that actually should be it. So we should have KitKat installed on our Nexus 7. Um, you'll see it should have a new boot animation, which will tell you right away if we're on KitKat. So let's check it out. All right, there we go. You'll see it does have the KitKat boot animation. I'm gonna let it boot up. The first boot up will take longer than usual. Subsequent boot ups will take less time. So I'm gonna let it boot up and show you guys that we are now on KitKat. All right, so here we go. My device has booted up. You'll see it has a new wallpaper automatically. Um, the, I guess the new KitKat wallpaper. I wanna go ahead and prove to you guys that we are on KitKat. You'll see a little UI difference up at the top, the different uh, icons, colors, etc. Let's go ahead and go into the settings application. You'll see the over scroll glow is now white. Uh, per KitKat. I do have a full review of KitKat, by the way, which I'll link to in the description so you guys can check out all the new features of it. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go to About Tablet, and you'll see Android version 4.4 right there. Um, so there you go. This is the 2013 Nexus 7, as I said earlier. But quickly tap on the Android version, and you got a little uh, Easter egg. You can tap on that K for KitKat, press and hold on it, and it brings up this Android 4.4 screen. Press and hold on that guy. Oh, hang on. Press and hold on this guy, and it brings up another screen. So um, you'll see that it just kind of brings up a screen with all of the previous builds. You got uh, Honeycomb, you got Cupcake, you got all those good uh, previous builds, Jelly Bean, etc. So just a little icons. It's just a little Easter egg letting you know that you actually are on KitKat. You can mess around with it. So <laughs> just wanted to show you guys that. Anyways, um, you can swipe down when it goes full screen and bring up the uh, notification bar or the uh, the buttons down here at the bottom. So that's a nice new feature of KitKat, which I go over in my review video. But overall, that's it. That's how to manually update to Android 4.4 KitKat on your Nexus 7 tablet. Hopefully this video helped you out. I want to make a note that it does not have the Google Home Experience Launcher by default. That is a Nexus 5 only thing at the moment. If you do want to try it out on your device, I'll link to where you can get it in the description of the video. I'll post a download link for you guys um, if you want to try it out. It's a little goofy. The search bar is a little off, so just kind of keep that in mind. It's not optimized for the Nexus 7 yet. But anyways, as I said, uh, if you give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. You can also subscribe to me. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching.